Good morning. It's Leanne Peters here. I'm from templeofbalance.com.au, Temple of Balance on Facebook and Temple of Balance on YouTube. And I'm here to pull some cards and share some guidance for the next four days. That's Thursday through till Sunday. So I trust this video finds you well. I'm coming to you live now from Tasmania, Australia. I'm right in the middle of our heart-shaped island pretty much, middle to the north. And um, it is currently Thursday, actually. It's Thursday, the 9th of May, and the time is 7.58 a.m. Oh, I'm only two minutes off the popular time. I seem to be saying what time it is, which is 8 o'clock on the dot. So I'm pretty much the same time as usual lately. So I want to send out a big extra special welcome to my Temple of Balance patrons, my Pillar of Light members, and all of those of you who support my work through my website. Thank you so much for your support. So my plan for the next however long I'm here for uh, while I'm doing this video is to work with my Oracle cards. So I'm using this combined deck of cards that I illustrated and created. I've got two decks, uh, the Speed of Light Oracle and the Animal Kingdom Oracle cards. And I'll use this combined deck of 110 cards to find the best cards for Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then the theme for those four days. I'm not pulling cards for individuals. This is general guidance for everyone. So I trust that you've been led here for a reason. What that reason is will be personal for you and might not reveal itself until we get further into the video or even over the next couple of days. Now at this point too, I'll let you know that I won't be in next week because I'm going to be away and I'm going to be offline as we go into nature and it's my uh, rebirth day next week. So I won't be here for a video next week um, at all. So from Monday, there'll be no video that week until probably the Sunday or the Monday, the 19th or the 20th uh, of that later that week or the week after. So just keep that in mind. If you're looking for videos, because I always have them here, uh, this will be a rare time when there won't be one. Uh, but I'll talk a bit more about that at the end of the video. Um, so I recommend for this video that you take on board what feels right. Hi, Laura. Uh, and what resonates and what fits into your life easily and let the rest go and allow yourself to be surprised and think of this as a guide only. The other thing I will mention is that at the moment in the last few videos I'll be lighting a candle at some point so I don't know when but I will know as we go. So I'll just be open to the best moment when a candle can be lit uh, for us to just take a moment to whatever, whatever and whenever it needs to happen. Good morning, Jacoba and Melissa. Welcome. So I'm now looking for the best card that the majority of us need for Thursday, the 9th of May. So the best card for Thursday, the 9th of May is this. It's an Animal Kingdom Oracle and it is the water dragon. So the dragons have been appearing over the last couple of videos, which is very exciting. It's card 24, and it says diving into new depths. So there is a potential for us on Thursday, but in general at this time, I mean, the dragons can indicate, you know, a powerful day or a powerful moment or a powerful time within the day because I'm focusing generally on the days, but the dragons tend to be a bit more all-encompassing than just a 24-hour period. So we might find that around this time, so when I say around this time, I'm thinking, you know, from Thursday, a day or two either side, so the Tuesday or Wednesday before, the Friday, Saturday after, there is this sort of arc of uh, favourable time that the dragon can influence kind of thing. Um, it's a favourable time to dive deeper into ourselves and dive deeper into our um, feelings about things. You know, explore why do we feel that way? Uh, when did it start? 
Uh, is this working for me, this strong emotion? Where is this strong emotion uh, leading me and carrying me? And I, I see it for some reason, this dragon energy, like a, a strong emotion that's probably present. And sometimes if the strong emotions are, um, you know, very intense and, and we might be feeling quite sensitive and emotional, uh, it might be the last thing we think that we want to do is sort of dive further into the emotion. But I find that the emotion's just trying to get our attention for something. And I find emotions very much the key to sort of uh, moving forward or moving through things in our life because emotions want to be in motion. So the more we kind of try and ignore the emotion or we try and uh, see it differently, uh, what I mean by that is maybe we're not seeing it for how it truly is. Maybe we're blaming someone else for how we feel instead of looking at the feeling that we actually feel. So if we're deflecting off the truth of the emotion, then that can also become very uncomfortable and sort of blocked. But I'm seeing this energy as like um, like a really strong, um, almost like we've had a, a ton of rain and maybe there's been some big things that have happened big things that have stirred up emotionally so it might be equivalent say energetically to a, a rain like a storm and it's just been raining 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 now always when there's been big rains especially if you're in the highlands um the then the rivers become kind of swollen with water and swollen with that rain as it channels and works its way out to sea or out to the ocean so it sort of feels to me like there's deep and um, like a force of, of moving water, like a river after a period of rain that is moving through and coursing through us. It feels deep and it feels like there's depth to the water that we're being encouraged to really uh, face and look at honestly. You know, what is this feeling? Um, how can I take this feeling deeper? Where is this emotion taking me? Where is this river of emotion taking me there's also um energy around this in regards to creativity so we might find a creative surge for some of us um and uh, moving with that as well so that is our card for thursday thank you very much now i'm looking for the best card for friday the 10th of may <sighs> okay friday the 10th let's see what we've got here the best card for Friday the 10th of May for the majority of us is this. It's a Speed of Light Oracle. And it's the Pause card. Card 25. And it says Hold, Time, Transition, Suspension and Limbo. <laughs> I felt very Australian then for some reason. Limbo. Limbo. Okay, so this suggests that Friday and maybe at the moment some of us feel a bit sort of um, like we're in limbo maybe, like there's a, a pause, something's stopped, something's not happening that we want to happen potentially. This might be a time of healing, a time of recovery, a time of getting our bearings on things. It could also to some of us maybe in a time of transition and transitional periods are never really comfortable. It's like when we're in between things. This door hasn't fully opened yet and this other door hasn't fully closed yet. So we're sort of in this corridor sort of zone of our life and we're not, um, we're neither here nor there. You know, one foot in the old world, one foot in the new world. Um, so it can be quite uncomfortable. So that can also feel like limbo, this transitional period. So there's generally a sense of slowness on Friday, a pause. Maybe things are cancelled. You know, there might be some things that we're doing that uh, are cancelled or delayed or, or postponed to another day. So we might find ourselves with a little bit extra time, potentially on Friday, to perhaps sink into and drop into that pause energy. And for those of us who are feeling quite awash with big uh, um, emotion at the moment in regards to the water dragon that came up before, it could be a good opportunity on Friday to kind of pause and sink into that, um, that energy and see what it's about. Because the water dragon wants to take us deeper. So it's, you know, going under the surface of things. What's really happening underneath? 
and we need time for that you know so we need time to we need to make time it doesn't have to be a lot but we might have a bit of time on Friday to explore and to contemplate and to really think about and sit with those um, energies that might be strongly brewing or strongly present in our life um, so everything will be okay while we take the time we need to heal or rest or pause or recover so that's our card for Friday okay let's look now for the best card for Saturday the 11th of May so Saturday the 11th And the best card for the majority of us for Saturday, the 11th of May, is... We'll go with this card. It's another animal kingdom. And we have the lion. And I love it when this happens, because this is card 11 for the 11th, which is awesome. So that's a really cool synchronicity, especially being number 11, which always feels quite powerful it says here be balanced with your responsibilities so we might be looking at our responsibilities our obligations our duty the roles that we play in in our life and asking ourselves are we really taking responsibility for those things that we're responsible for or are we blaming so this energy is coming up again there might be some of us feeling or if we notice we might be blaming other people or blaming other things blaming other countries blaming leaders blaming this blaming that for our perhaps lack of responsibility of things that we're doing or not doing in our life so this might be part of the realization too that comes up for some of us around this strong emotion and the depth diving that the water dragon inspires and that pause card of contemplation of considering things there might be some um some things that pop to the surface around responsibility and our responsibility and even you know being responsible for how we feel we might feel a certain way because of something that happened or because of what he did or she did or whatever it might be there might be an external reason for our emotion but we can still take responsibility for what we're actually feeling and for our reaction and our response on an emotional level for whatever it might be. So I feel like a breakthrough for some of us, especially those of us dealing with deep emotional things, is that breakthrough of taking responsibility for our role, responsibility for our emotions. There's also a strong leadership energy with the lion and we're being encouraged to step up as the leader in our or as a leader in our life. And be careful that we're not, or be aware, perhaps, that we're not um, putting, giving our power away to other people to lead the way and to make the choices uh, for us in our life. That we, if we can um, increase our self-confidence and recognise that we have the ability and the strength and the confidence to be able to trust in ourselves to make the right decisions or to lead the way forward for ourselves and that also feels like it be quite it could be quite the breakthrough so it does feel a bit like something shifts between Thursday and Friday and into Saturday there's almost like a stronger mindset there is less a wash of emotion potentially and there is something that emerges from that emotional energy so what I'm seeing is like in my mind's eye is this very strong flowing river after a period of rain and it's just a wash and it's moving and it's deep this water and and we're perhaps I imagine that we're sitting on the bank of this river and we're contemplating whatever the issues are that we're facing and then something arises and emerges from that that feels like it's connected somehow with taking more responsibility for ourselves and our life and stop blaming stop the blame game you know we might have all kinds of reasons why we could blame this person or that person for our um, difficulties or for the the um, the challenges in our life but how long are we going to hold that bitterness and resentment for before we take responsibility and also it feels like claiming back our power because when we're blaming others we're giving them our power so we're actually feeding our power over to those people that um, have whatever 
towards us that we're feeling. So there is a sense of giving our power back to ourselves, a return of power, which is a return of responsibility and a return of um, perhaps confidence and courage to step up and, and move forward in our life. So it's like we emerge or we step up from the riverbank here and we, like the lion, just push our way or forge our way through the forest and get back to where we need to be uh, instead of being pulled down to the drama of the river. That's the feeling that I'm, I'm feeling. So we move more into potentially a mental state of determination, responsibility and empowerment rather than being pulled and, and swept into the storms of this, uh, these rough waters. That's what I'm feeling coming up anyway at the moment. So let's see what the next card is. Um, this is the last one I'm pulling except for the theme card. For, I'm looking for the best card for Sunday the 12th of May. Um, for the majority of us and I'm also still looking for or open to the opportunity of lighting a candle for us at some point so I remain open to that window whenever that pops up so the best card the majority of us need for uh, Sunday the 12th of May is we'll go with this card it's from the animal kingdom and we have the um, shelter card. <laughs> I had a block with that one, the title. Shelter card, shelter, card 51. It says, seek safe shelter. So this is, again, another quiet card. So it's a bit like the pause card that came in. But it almost feels like we've now moved through the forest. We've moved away from the um, heavy drama sort of field emotion that we may have been struggling to process. We're moving back into the land, so back in, away from that, perhaps more in a stronger mindset. But it sort of feels like we're coming to rest on a tree, coming to rest against a tree for safety, for shelter, for rest, for protection, to uh, recoup, that kind of thing. So this is a place of shelter. It's a place of reprieve. And it feels strong, like there's something really nourishing and very rooting about this, like the energy wants to root us into the practicality and the reality of things and the reality of our life and the pra yeah the practicality of of moving forward and moving away almost from that victim mentality and moving into self responsibility self trust and then kind of it almost feels like this tree is about settling into that you know like processing digesting integrating anchoring and sort of sinking into that uh, shift in attitude that we might have over these next few days. So it feels like there's something quite deep that's happening, something quite emotional, especially in the first couple of days, which is now, uh, Thursday, Friday, especially feels potentially more emotional. And then it feels like it switches to a shift potentially mentally, a shift in attitude, a shift, shift of responsibility and self-trust and self-empowerment as we shift things for ourselves. So it feels potentially like something shifts, something turns. And um, it's more like a journey these next few days. So it might be helpful too for us to see these next few days as a journey. Instead of this day, this day, this day, it's like a journey from one place to the next. So see where this fits on the timing front too for you, because you might find you go through all this in one day. Or well, this may even be stretched out into the days that follow this particular time window. Let's just see how it feels for you. But uh, we have the shelter card here for Sunday. So it feels a bit more restful on Sunday too. There's something grounded, something um, nature-based perhaps, something settling about this particular card. So I still haven't lit the candle yet and I haven't been inspired to, so I trust... I will with the last card. If not, I will at the end anyway. So I'm going to pull a theme card in just a moment. But before I do, I want to thank you so much for joining me today. If you have enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up button. Please show us some love. Please comment or share if you're inspired to. And if you'd prefer to connect more privately, then please send us a message through our website. If you'd like to learn more about my cards that I've used today, then you can learn more about them on my website. Um, and if you'd like to learn more about the work I do here at Temple of Balance, you'll find out more information. You can really dig through things from the last 19 years 
on my website at templeofbalance.com.au. So a reminder, I will not be in after this for a week because I'm going away and I'm going offline. So there's going to be a break in video for at least six days, if not seven. Um, so I won't be back until either Sunday the 19th or Monday the 20th for a video. So just keep that in mind. Um, I encourage you during that time period, I know there's going to be some, because there always seems to be people very disappointed that I won't be doing readings during that period, but I do just... Every now and then, it's not very often, I just like to have a, a break. So this is my break. This will be my birthday and we're going away into nature. So I just really want to soak that up and really enjoy that connection. So if you feel disappointed that I won't be here, uh, then that's probably, you know, a good reason for me to take a break, you know, for you, because I don't want you to be become um, so attached to these that you become stressed out and upset if they're not here. So what I, because uh, I try and empower you, I don't want you to rely on these. So if you can grab your own cards and pull some cards for yourself during this next upcoming week. You know, grab, if, if you've got a deck of cards, which hopefully you have, it doesn't have to be mine, any deck, grab a deck of cards and pull a couple of cards uh, for Monday and Tuesday and whatever days that you want to. Connect in with your intuition and the guidance that the cards can offer you and um, move through that time as best as you can. The best way you can learn how to use your cards is to read for yourself. Um, and I really firmly believe that. So when people come and say, oh, I can read for others, but I can't read for myself, I really don't get that because I feel like the best reader we can be is when we read for ourselves first. And then that can extend out into the sharing if we want to with others. So please grab your cards and I'll see you again on the 19th or the 20th. So I'm looking for the best theme card now. Uh, the theme card will help bring these particular days together and help us see the bigger picture for uh, Thursday the 9th through to Sunday the 12th of May. 2024 so the best theme card for the majority of us for this particular four days is ah uh, we'll go with this one it's an animal kingdom and we have the elephant okay we've got the elephant card seven and it says family commitments and i know at least for here in australia it is mother's day on sunday so this is probably highlighted around here as well but this is highlighting a general theme a bigger picture for these next four days is around our family commitments and family in general we might find that we're seeing family members that we wouldn't usually see over this time period um, or connecting in some ways over the phone or what have you so it's highlighting the importance of our more extended relationships and those connections that we have with um, people, it could be family, it could be blood family, but it could be people we consider family. It could be our close friends, it could be our surrogate daughter or, or our surrogate father, you know, like people we've, that kind of taken on those roles that might not necessarily be our blood relations. So it doesn't have to be blood, but it can be. But it is highlighting this importance of connection in the broader sense with people. So I think of our closer relationships with our partner, our children or people that we live with, people that we're most closest to. Hopefully we've got one or two people in our corner that we're really close to. And then from there, we've got more of an extended range of connection with people. And I see this as a big circle of people around us, our extended family, our close friends, um, that kind of thing, um, those kinds of people. And this connection is really important maintaining these connections that we want to maintain i mean some relationships are going to work and some aren't but um, maintaining the ones that are strong to us and, and important to us feels valuable and in fact i feel now i'm going to light the candle because i feel like okay let's use the candle lighting at, for a moment just to honor our connections with people and we've done a few candle lightings lately honoring our connections with our loved ones in spirit which is always important, I feel. But I feel like this is more our connections with people who are living. 
So people around us, it could be our closest relationship, but especially those in that more broader circle around us, our, our family themselves or friends. So take a deep breath, and I'm going to light this candle. It was a candle gift from a very special lady. So I'm just lighting this in honour of the, all the connections that we have with people in our life. Um, so think about from that circle closest to you moving out. Can you think of your, maybe it's circles, maybe it's a spiral that spirals out and you've got your closest connections and then um, they, that sort of connection, that relationship that we have with other people kind of spirals out or circles out from there. So in honour of all the connections that we have, maybe like like little cords or little streams of energy coming out from our body around to all these people, and we just give a moment of honour and appreciation for these connections and for the acknowledgement too that we're not alone, that we have connections with people. Sometimes these are strong, sometimes these are weaker. Do we need to strengthen the weaker ones by reaching out and making an effort? Um, do we need to back off from the ones that are a little bit overpowering? Where's our balance in these relationships that we're juggling and managing as part of being human and part of being connected to something bigger than ourselves? So this is owed to our connections and relationships. And I'll leave the candle going until this video ends. So another element of this elephant card is to keep going, to keep enduring, to go the distance. There's a plodding along feeling here with consistency and dedication rather than trying to, you know, um, sort of it's the marathon, not the sprint. So it's not fleety, quick, urgent. There's this staying the course, going the distance, pacing ourselves on this marathon of life. So we might find ourselves feeling reasonably steady. Let's see how we go. Um, I think the most unsteady day potentially based on the other cards could be Thursday. And around that period, especially if we've got strong emotions, we've been avoiding or denying. So let's go the distance. Let's um, be attentive to where we're placing our feet and where we're placing ourselves in our life and make sure that that aligns with our truth and aligns with our heart. So that is the elephant, our theme for the next few days. So enjoy your days to come and enjoy next week. I look forward to connecting again with you when I return from my time deep in nature. And I'm going to be soaking it up and enjoying every second. So I will be offline during that time. I have scheduled posts on my Facebook page and groups and things everywhere pretty much uh, so you'll still see posts coming up um, but I won't be around so if you notice if you see any posts and any comments and you notice someone has a question or something um, please feel free to answer that if you know the answer if they're asking about something that you know about Temple of Balance that will be really helpful um, and I will be available on email so I will check email but I'm turning all social media off so enjoy and I'll see you in about a week and a half probably and uh, take care of yourself and I look forward to seeing what we can uh, connect with during this break period. So enjoy and thank you very much for your support. Bye.